When Christine and I started Honeycomb back in 2016, God, um, you know, we, we started do, putting a lot of thought into like, what is observability? And we drew up this giant laundry list of things. Like you're doing observability if you have high cardinality, high dimensionality, explorability, like all this shit. And I, I, I've come to believe that that was a mistake um, because it just confused a lot of people. And of course, once everybody else started, you know, kind of adopting some of the messaging, then it just seemed like observability means nothing at all. Um, the the definition of observability that I have come around to using recently is, is that observability is just a property of complex systems, like scalability, like performance, like reliability, which puts the, the focus on the systems, right, instead of the tools. Um, but that kind of leaves a, a gap in, in the technical language when it comes to describing the experience of the people who are using tooling, which is which is that there's kind of a big sort of discontinuous uh, jump in outcomes and ease of use and cost model between what we started calling like observability 1.0 and 2.0. And it's a lot easier to tell if you're on 1.0 land or 2.0 land. 1.0 is there's three pillars kind of definitionally. There's because you're storing data as metrics, you're storing it as logs, you're storing it as traces, you're storing it in your APM tool, you're storing it in your RUM tool, you're storing it in your analytics tool, you're storing it in your profiling tool. You've got a lot of different sources of truths. And the only real like thing that's knitting it together is you, the engineer, who's sitting in the middle kind of eyeballing and going, okay, there's a spike in my SLO, so I'm going to jump over to my dashboards and sort of scroll through a bunch of them then I'm gonna that shape is kind of like that shape so I'm gonna jump into my logs and look for that 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 time <laughs> and hope that the timestamps are the same look for that time interval and then scroll through a bunch and look for something and maybe I can find like a, a trace ID and copy paste it over my tracing tool you know and it's like that's a whole lot of guessing it's a whole lot of let's call it intuitive leaps uh and it's just it, it like the cost, first of all, is is absurd because however many tools you have, that's your multiplier, right? So as fast as your traffic is going up, your bills are going up at a multiplier of that, which is maybe exponential. Um, secondly, um, it's it there the fact that there's there's nothing that actually ties them together means that the biggest cost of all is 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 cognitive. Thank you.